the morning of day eight, and we are in Bimboche still. It's our acclimatization day. That was probably the coldest night yet. It's hell getting out of your sleeping bag in the middle of the night to go pee. Thank goodness. Well, you can see my breath. Um, thank goodness we have an attached bathroom. I am terrified for um, Loboche, which we go to tomorrow, and Gorak Chef, because the bathrooms may be outside. We have no idea. Today, we are climbing a massive hill behind um, De Moche to acclimatize, and then hopefully that will just take the morning, and then we'll have time to go to our little cafe again and rest and read and journal. But we'll see. I woke up with a scratchy throat, so I'm going to take some halls, have some lemon tea. Don't want to get sick because we've only got three or two more sleeps till we can make it to Everest Base Camp. So the end is in sight. How are you feeling, Dad? Huh? How are you feeling? I'm feeling pretty good, <laughs> all things considered. <laughs> I should be curled up in a ball crying right now, but... Uh... Yeah, I think, uh, looking forward to getting our hike over this morning and then resting and going for the final push. So it's, it's going to be good. So I also have bought these two bracelets here. Um, one I bought above Namche Bazaar on that hike. And one I bought on our hike from uh, Namche to... Where was it? Namche to... Deboche, and I bought this one for myself because it reminds me of Elsa. And I bought this one for Kate because it reminds me of Anna. And I'm going to wear it to Everest Base Camp and then give it to her when I get back. So once again, when I step outside this morning, I am surrounded by mountains that were not there the night before. And because our room is kind of outside, we have to walk from it to the common room for breakfast. <laughs> It's really cold in here, so Dad's going back for our down jackets and their gloves. I think I forgot to put the yaku in the stove. Did you remember my gloves? Yeah. Someone forgot to put the uh, yacht cool in the stove. It's freaking freezing in this tea house. No, it's not. It's like instant. It's been instant since I got in this country. Oh no, that's not true. No, that is untrue. But they, you know, when we go to the cafes, they have nice coffee, really nice coffee. Breakfast today is apple porridge and toast and eggs. Looks good and warm. <laughs> Breakfast has been had. We're layering up, taking our gloves. Jivan said it would be hot. I don't know what to believe. And then we're gonna climb this fucking mountain. And then have coffee. So we are gonna climb the hill up here and up to around here, I think. 
We are trekking up where all those tiny people are. And then another steep ascent there. So this is all of Dembuche. Still a long, steep ways. So we made it to a little rest spot. Some beautiful flags. Odd blue album in the back there. And still a very steep hill ahead. <laughs> Acclimatization day, halfway up the acclimatization hill. Abu Dhabi. Yeah. So I can see our hotel right, uh, right there. I'm really its own land. It's future tea houses, brother. Yeah. Still a long way to go to those flags. up to the flag, but we're almost there. So what's cool is there's all these little rocks scattered up the trail, and they mean good luck. And they remind me of the Chinooks that the Inuit build in Canada. We're almost the top is in sight. There it is. Only a couple more steps to go. Take a picture? Yeah. We made it to the top. There it is. That one over there is Abu Dhabi, that we've been seeing a lot, and it's very, very close now. All right, let me zoom over there. Let me get a little terrain shot. Is that Oh. Nice. There's the village we came from, Debouche. Down, we'll freshen up and go for uh, and find an internet cafe slash bakery. And, uh, and way down there is in Boshe, where we came up from. <laughs> Dad. I don't want to buy another one. <laughs> That's great, thank you. Dad slipped again. Yeah. His pole broke, but I think it's okay. I think it will survive. Oh, you broke all you guys believe I didn't Still a little slippy going down, but definitely quicker. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It'll be nice because we'll have one day to just chill. 
still seems far away. We made it back of our easy day. Um, and we are just gonna get changed quickly and then have lunch. It's 11.30, so it's nice to know we have nothing to do after lunch except explore Dimboche. We're gonna go to the pharmacy, see if they have our favorite little Tylenol red pills I've been using a lot. And back to our cafe to get internet. So on the truck today, my nose got burnt, even though I put sunscreen on it. For lunch. Today's lunch, potato soup and macaroni and cheese and egg. <laughs> <laughs> All done. It was pretty good. at our favorite bakery. We got mochas and apple pie and internet, so it's gonna be good. 4,000 meters. Dry as hell. So you need it all. I need my water. <laughs> Today's dinner is veggie pizza again, and a different thing, spaghetti with cheese. Looks good. So usually when uh, we walk outside at the end of the night, it's really, really um, cloudy, but tonight it was clear and the view of the mountains with the stars behind it was spectacular and the moon was full and it was so bright. Um, I felt a little bit sicky today, like my throat was sore and my nose was running. I hear everyone coughing and blowing your nose, I think it's just the altitude. My tummy hurt a little bit after that brownie, and then I popped Pepto Pill, and I feel better. Only two more sleeps to base camp. We have another early start tomorrow, so we're going to Lobo Shea. Also, the reason I had a headlamp on is because our light broke, so we only have a light from the bathroom, and not a light in the main thing, so we'll be reading by headlamp at the end of the night.